Hello there. In this video we will be talking about the Roche vs Sipla dispute. This case is regarded as a very important case in a series of high-profile patent battles between multinational pharmaceutical companies and Indian generic drug companies. The dispute arose in Delhi High Court over Roche's drug Erlotinib that was sold by Roche as Tarsiva. Both Roche and Sipla are based on the compound that goes by the name Erlotinib hydrochloride. In February 2007, Roche after claiming that it had been granted a patent for Erlotinib started selling the drug under the brand name Tarsiva. In January 2008, it was reported that Sipla is planning to launch a generic version of Erlotinib. This made Roche initiate infringement proceedings against Sipla. We have been selling our drug under the brand name Erlosip since December 2007. Roche's patent was invalid because Erlotinib was a derivative of quinazolane. Roche's invention as disclosed in the complete specification and claims was obvious or did not include any inventive step. The complete specification did not sufficiently unfairly describe the invention or the method by which it was to be performed. There was a huge price difference between both the drugs that should be taken into account when deciding whether or not to grant interim injunction. Sipla strongly argued that because the drug in question was a life-saving drug the public interest issue was an important factor to be taken into account. We claim that Section 3D of the Patents Act is not applicable as erlotinib is a novel compound. Erlotinib is a different compound its properties differ from those of AstraZeneca's Jefatini which was cited as prior art. The drug is accessible to the Indian territory however it is not necessary that the drug should be manufactured in India. In single judge bench the decision made was based on public interest. The generic drug version of Erlotinib manufactured and marketed by Sipla is available at one third of the price of Roche's drug Tarsiva. Tarsiva is imported and not manufactured in India. The right to access to life-saving drugs and the need for such supplies long term is a serious issue in India. Overall there was refusal to grant an injunction. The decision was in favor of Sipla. Roche filed an appeal arguing that a failure to protect the rights of the patentee is contrary to the public interest of encouraging further research in the pharmaceutical field. The division bench observed non-infringement. The bench was of the view that the patent in question related to a mixture of polymorphs A and B whereas Roche's Tarsiva drug consisted of only polymorph B for which a patent had not yet been granted. The court dismissed Roche's appeal and upheld the order of the single judge, 